What brings you here? I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. How is it going, viewers? If you haven't guessed by the little bit of the intro I showed you, I am returning to Skyrim. That's right. The game that I probably enjoy the most and enjoyed the most on Xbox 360. I bought the Xbox One version, uploaded it to my Series X, and wow, this is gorgeous. I'm not going to go through the entire opening sequence with you. What I'm doing is kind of cobbling together some stuff. And, you know, it's the beginning of the game. And showing you how you can kind of store stuff for free. Maybe a few hints and tips for a newbie or how to play things a little different for someone who's more advanced. And I can tell you right now, this is going to be some fun. I do love Skyrim. Again, it's one of my top three games that I enjoy playing. And, well, it's just one of those games that just keeps getting better with age. And I'm not going to do some things I've done before. I'm going to just play it pretty straight. No exploits, no doing anything out of the ordinary. And I'll probably break that promise at some point. But I don't care. It's just gorgeous. So let's get on with a few hints, tips, tricks. See if you guys enjoy it. I'm just, again, taking a break from Red Dead Redemption 2. Because it is a very extensive game. And I'm not really that into westerns. But I will come back to Red Dead at some point. One of the things you can do, and any veteran knows this, is once you are armed and in the fort, you can attack the guy you're following. It doesn't matter who you're following, but you can attack them to raise your level up. In this case, I am following Rolof, and they won't fight back. You can level up your skills. There's ways you can trap him to increase your one-handed. The character I'm playing is Kelvin. He's a blonde Nord who I've played before, and he's kind of a tip of a hat to Calvin and Hobbes. And yes, I do play a Hobbes figure at some point. And this is a nice kill shot, not too many beheadings. Uh, he's a dual wielder. Uh, you can strip these guys of their armor and sell it. Again, you want to load up on stuff so you can sell. Dual wielding is kind of hard to do when you're starting out, but it is one of those where as you progress and get better, you get more powerful. Now, this is gathering provisions for your character and possibly stuff to sell later on. Basic stuff, open up everything you can, take what you can. Potions especially, and ingredients, salt piles, stuff like that, so that you can make, you know, potions. If you're not into that, well, then leave the ingredients. And again, keep attacking the other guy. He won't fight back. When you get down into the tunnels, you don't have to follow Roloff or where he's going. There is a side tunnel here where... You can find a skeleton with some money and a potion. And it's really valuable for you at this point to have lots and lots of free healing potions, even though you have restoration. Now, you continue down this tunnel. There's ways you can try and trap, roll off, and beat them up until you get a really high. Um, one-handed attack, but I have a hard time cornering him, and he always seems to get around me. 
But again, you can keep hitting him, and he will heal, and he won't fight back. One of the things you should do is fight in third-person view for most of Skyrim, unless you are using a bow. Then you want first-person view, you get a better shot, and you can take down this bear. Not only do you get a bear hide, but some other possible ingredients. Bear claws are very good when it comes to making potions. Now, again, Calvin is a dual wielder. I'm looking around here, wine, coin purse, whatever I can take to sell or drink or use at this point. And the mead here, take that. There is the bear, and he has, or she has, some ingredients. Bear claws, bear pelt, and iron arrow. So let's keep going on this wonderful adventure. As you're walking down the path to get to River Run with Roloff, uh, gather ingredients. Gather as much as you can. They cost nothing and weigh nothing. And uh, being alchemy and making proper potions, I might do something on that coming up. Well, you can up your character stats pretty quickly. Again, there are some things that I'm still going to do that I normally do, and that is alchemy. Uh, I'm not going to go to the invisible hidden war chests and steal from those, but I'm going to do what I can to raise funding. And if you know how to make proper potions, blue wildflowers are one of the best in making some pretty powerful potions that you can sell for a lot of money. Once you get to these stones, you can choose one. I'm choosing a warrior stone. This is actually where you could go totally um, against the main plot line. I'm not going to do that. There's Anise's cabin across the river. There's some other adventures across the river that you could easily get to. And, you know, like I said, totally go against the main plot line. And I've done that before, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to fast forward to these guys to get to River Run and start at that point. Mara's mercy, it's good to see you. But is it safe for you to be here? Gerda. You heard that Ulfik had been captured. Gerda, I'm fine. At least now. New I to am. Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. It's my mill. Some folks think it's my town, too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. Interesting part is the character that you follow, the person they introduce you to will have supplies you can take. Take the most valuable stuff. And in this case, the amnesis, the um, lockpick, and some other stuff, potions of minor healing, ring of minor alteration, and silver necklace. Take the most valuable stuff, forget the food. You can pick that up anytime and anywhere. And you want to go to the, what I call, pawn, sh pawn shop and go to the River Run Trader. And there you will meet Carlotta and her brother, who will give you a possible adventure, which you can double up on once you go see the Jarl, Jarl, whatever the guy at, uh, I'm forgetting the name of the town, White Run. And you'll be able to double up, and I'm probably going to do a video about that in the future. So let's get on with some other adventures, and I'll explain some other things here.
you do want to talk to the blacksmith and learn some basic blacksmithing skills because just making your own arrows can be uh, very useful to you. And arrows are wood and whatever metal you need, but you also need that blacksmithing skill up there to make certain arrows. Otherwise, you're just going to be able to make iron arrows. And I'm going to fast forward through blacksmithing and get to another part of this adventure. But learn to blacksmith. Also, the blacksmith, you can sell weapons and armor that you have picked up. Any extra stuff, sell your hide helmet, um, extra imperial armor, extra raw weapons. And if you want to keep boosting up your blacksmithing skill, buy iron bars and leather strips or make your own leather strips after you kill an animal and you take its pelt. You can craft that into leather, and you can make iron daggers until your eyes fall out and sell them to finance even more expensive weapons. Now over to the Riverwood Trader, where you come upon a conversation with Carlotta and her brother. Let's hear it. No thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> customer. Sorry, you had to hear that. I don't know what you're over. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northeast plan, of town. Lucan? Now, Lucan will trade with you anything that you can't sell to a blacksmith, and some of it is just basic stuff. Books apparel, potions, food, anything. He will trade you. And the other cool part is once you do the quest for the claw, you can actually marry Carlotta and possibly live with her in the Riverwood uh, shop. Or she can live with you at your house, but she kind of has this thing with the elf that, yeah, she does cheat on you. So... You know, you got to get rid of the elf at some point. Sorry, it's Camilla, not Carlotta. I gave her the wrong name. What she will do is lead you to where you can go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Don't go there. Wait until you go to White Run and talk to the Yarl. And his wizard will assign you a mission that will take you to Bleak Falls Barrow. And you can just kill two birds with one stone and get the claw and find out what's really going on at Bleak Falls Barrow. After leveling up, I circled back and came to the hawk to. Feindal, who is having a problem with Sven, and yeah, you get in between him and Camilla and Sven. Like I said, if you marry Camilla and you bring her to your place or you hang out with her above the shop, she does cheat on you with this dude. And well, uh, you might want to take him down if you catch him. Or you just don't marry Camilla. You're better off marrying Yzold. She's a drug dealer, but she doesn't cheat on you. All right, then.
Earlier here, you want to take the woodcutter's axe because you can use it to chop some wood and then use the wood to make arrowheads with the iron ingots. You're going to need these because it's better to have a lot of arrows than none. And once you learn more advanced metal making techniques, you can craft your own arrows and you can find chunks of metal and melt them down and do whatever. But again, you'll get six split logs and you'll be able to use those to craft arrows. After making a bunch of arrows, now I'm going to go tell Camilla what I heard. Mara Black, you're strapping. You what? What are you talking about? Why, that jealous idiot. Thought he could just manipulate me into never seeing Sven again? Thank you for telling me the truth. You should speak to Sven. I'm sure he'll want to thank you, too, for defending his name. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. I ratted on the elf because I want him out of the way as a potential uh, thing or person that Camilla cheats with. Sven might be another dude she cheats with. The last time I married Camilla, she cheated on me with the elf dude, and I had to take him down. And you tell this Sven guy, hey, I, I don't think Camilla will be spending any more time with Fandale. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. Until next time. Okay, if I want to marry Camilla, the best way to get rid of Sven is to make him a follower and, well, bump him off. Now, I'm going to check out Ograr, and I really don't need to use the Alchemy Lab right now. Uh, rumors, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, nothing there. I'm going to cut to where I get to Whiterun Delphi. You can rent a room, but she's actually, or Delphine, she is the one who you ultimately, uh, spoil alert, have to deal with in this adventure. On your way to White Run, you meet up with these companions and you want to know how to join the companions. They will tell you Farkas is a pretty good guy, annoying as hell if you have to fight with him because he gets in your way a lot and you keep hitting him. And he also hits you a lot. But I digress. If you join the companions, you'll have a place to sleep, but nowhere to really store anything that you want to keep for future use once we get into a white run in fact i'm going to just cut over to where you get into white run and i'll show you some place where you can actually store stuff for quite a long time and it's safe and you can use it for later use once in white run you talk to Adriana and she gives you a quest to deliver a sword to her father to give to the Jarl. Do it. It gets you a little coin and it ingratiates you to a lot of these characters and they help you out a little bit after that. I mean, there's no really reason why you can't just bring the sword up and assign weapons by characters to deliver to other characters. Weigh nothing. They don't add to your encumbrance, which you have to uh, increase by doing the stamina. Now I'm going to show you. There's these barrels over here by um, the Warrior Maiden weapon shop. You can store stuff in them, like the woodcutter axe and ingots and stuff, and they're actually very safe for a very long while. You might have to be gone days and days on end before they get stolen. Now I'm going to take you to the Dragon Reach and the whole business that you tell the Jarl you saw a dragon. 
My lord, please. What's the meaning of this so interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. We act. I just well, that explains why the guards let you in. Then? Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to oh. trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the Jarl dragon of is lurking in the mountains. that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service. And I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Go ahead and fill him in with Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the on... Ah, uh, indeed? The Jarl. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. This is where he talks to you about finding a dragon stone in Bleak Falls Barrel, and you can go there and get the claw and double up on a mission. Now, you can ask a bunch of other questions, but the real cool thing is you want to learn about the Arcana Enchanter. Arcane Enchanter is another piece of equipment you might want to learn to use. You can remove enchantments and enchant items yourself. As your skills go higher, they become more powerful. Just a side thing, if you don't want to do that, different people play different things, different ways. Some of this is stuff I always do, which is alchemy and enchantment. I like to build my own weapons and my own potions, but again, you don't have to. Now, I'm going to look around here and be nosy. I think that's all for all these clips I've taken. Uh, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, kind of excited that I'm returning to uh, Skyrim, and hopefully we'll play things a little less different or more different than I used to. Again, there will be a few things I always do. It helps the character out. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hell, if you don't like the video, even hit the dislike button. But if you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will get notification of the four videos I post a week, maybe of Skyrim, maybe of something else, but that is for the future, and you won't know unless you subscribe. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by.